the co-main event alexander pantoja versus brandon roy val this fight i am excited to see just because of pantoja um no disrespect to brandon uh roy val at all but uh pantoja to me is a guy who i think is going to run the division for for a while i don't know why i have that feeling but i have that feeling that guy gave me chills when I was watching the Embedded or All Access for UFC when he fought Moreno. And um, he said that when he was in Vegas, he was like, man, I feel the energy. I feel like, you know, this is my moment. It's my time. And, you know, just seeing him speak like that on, you know, clearly he was talking to the camera or whatever. But just like the way he looked, the way he was viewing the uh, Vegas, I was like, man, this guy is like, I don't know, man. At that moment, and I'm getting chills now, but at that moment, I had a feeling, I was like, this guy's going to be fucking Brandon Moreno. He's going to beat my guy. Like, he's going to beat him. And I was scared, and then the fight happened, and it, it was a war. And, and the heart that Pantoja showed was incredible, you know. Um, and, and he dug deep, man. He fucking dug deep to get that victory. He did everything he could. I didn't know how he got the, the uh, what is it, the takedown in the fifth round. I was just like, you motherfucker, bro. Like you, you got him just at the end. Of the, like I said, the last round, he got those takedowns or that takedown and he got him. So, but Pantoja is that guy, man. Pantoja is the real deal. Uh, let me, let's speak about the records real quick before we get a little bit more into detail. Uh, Alexander Pantoja, um, I'm going to start with, he lost to uh, Figueredo in 2019 and then he won and then he lost again to Askarov in 2020 He's beat Manuel Cap, who I think Cap is a beast in 2021. Brings Brandon Roy Val uh, in 2021, and then beats Alex Perez in 2022. And then he f- beat Brandon Moreno uh, a few months ago or earlier this year, and now he's fighting Brandon Roy Val again. Um, so you know he's been on he's been on fire, and he's only gotten better. You know, and it, clearly he's shown that he takes these losses and bounces back with the win. He hasn't had any losses in a row in the UFC. Now for Brandon Royval, uh, three wins in a row against, oh shit, hold up, against Math, Mateos, Nicolou, Matt Skinnell. I'm sorry, I'm messing up these names. Rogerio, I don't know. And he lost to Pantoja, lost to Moreno. He's beat Kai Kai France in 2020. Tim Elliott. Uh, I, I just think he doesn't stand a chance with uh, Pantoja. Again, no disrespect to uh, Brandon uh, Royval. But, um, again, I just think this is Pantoja's moment. He has that chip in his shoulder with the whole, like, he, he keeps talking about his dad, which I kind of want him to stop doing that. But also, too, it kind of just shows you how much it affected him as a person that he went through that. And he wants to be a an amazing dad. There's no doubt in my mind that he wants to be an amazing dad. He wants to be the best dad ever. And, like, that's what drives him. And when you have a man like that, you know, that has that heart, that will, and, and just feels and believes that it's his moment, I just think no one's going to stop that version of Pantoja. You know, I just don't see it. And the only way I see Pantoja slowing down is that he gets enough wins and gets hella money, and he's like, okay, I've done enough. You know, like, I can chill out a little bit with fighting. And what I mean by that is, like, he's probably not going to train as hard, you know. I don't know, but I know that he wants to secure the bags with for his family. Like, there's just no doubt. And if he stays champion and does what he needs to do, he's going to keep bringing in, uh, you know, nothing but great things for his family. And, and I don't know, man, like a man like that, like he's just going to be undefeated. Not undefeated, but it's just going to be hard for him to lose. And, um, again, he's a scary guy. He's so good on the ground. An amazing, an amazing uh ground game jujitsu whatever you want to call it and he's good, pretty decent striking like really good um he got caught with a few shots with from brandon and um and just ate him and he stayed in the fight there's a few times and he was in danger and he got rocked a few times but he stayed in the fight so he has a fucking chin on him and it, i mean it, he has heart so pantoja i think is gonna finish uh brandon in the second round I think Pantoja is, he's just too much right now. He's just too good. And I think he's going to finish uh, Brandon Roy Val in, in the second round, whether it's a submission or a TKO or a knockout, whatever. But I think he gets to finish in the second. Um, so I'm happy. I'm excited to see Pantoja. And I really hope, you know, he runs it back with Brandon or even uh, Cap 
or Kape would be crazy. So that's my prediction on that.